Living in a disposable society, it's tempting to view our bodies as just another commodity. But as a doctor, I'm half fascinated, half worried that more and more of us are choosing to change our appearances surgically. I understand the temptation. I think we all do. But if you're considering going body shopping, do you really know what you're getting yourselves into? In this series, I'll be meeting with some people going down this road, exploring why they're doing it, how they're doing it, and seeing in the end if they're really any happier. We're heading to Eden Derry, where Orla Flynn thinks the appearance of her nose is holding her back. She's decided now is the time to make a change. Orla will be joining an increasing number of patients who are choosing to go abroad for their aesthetic surgery. What you would like to change? What you don't like in your... I'm here about my nose mainly. I'd love a full rhinoplasty with the bump and the tip, if possible. For us, it's most difficult to understand uh, what patients expect from us and what they would like to see after operation. So to help with that, we're creating simulation with photos and with some software we can show what we can do technically. So yeah, that's exactly it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you expect? I'm really happy with that slope compared to... I know I don't have much of a bump, but no, that looks absolutely gorgeous, to be honest. Technically, we can do that. Okay. But we never can promise that it will be exactly like I'm showing, for example, in this simulation. Yeah. Because uh, everything depends on, on the scar, uh, scar maturation, how it changes, because the scar can pull the nose to one other side. Right. And what happens if I, I'm done with the surgery and I'm not actually happy with the results? Do I, am I, do I get another operation to fix what I'm not happy with, or do I have to actually go again and just go under the whole process again. If there is some problem, we're always asking to come back and we can correct that. Okay. Just and is that free of charge or is that? Yes. It is. Yes. Okay, yeah. that's no problem. Every second operation in the nose, when we have to go inside, More we're going through the scar. Yeah. yeah. And it's less charge. predictable, so it's past the problem. And in the end, can be like Michael Jackson. Well, <laughs> I don't want that. So <laughs> it's the best to do from first time and to do as perfect as it can be. Right, okay. And if I have any problems when I get back to Ireland, how long? Do, can uh, I come to you as far? Here, uh, I'm coming here every second month. We are here, uh, colleagues, and, and we can check, we can make pictures, and we can connect with GP. And, yeah. And so it's, okay. it's not it's a problem. More reassuring, that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would really be concerned about now, to be honest, is just finding my way in the other country, just with the language barriers, the only thing. It's going to be an experience, all right. Being on my own as well, it's definitely going to be more daunting than having somebody with me to comfort me but um, it has to be done and that's what I want, so, yeah. Before she can go under the knife and chisel, I'd like to discuss her case with her surgeon. Orla's surgery is interesting because I look at her beforehand and I don't understand why she wants to have her nose done. Every consultation, first of all, we're trying to understand what we expect and if, if it's realistic or not. And when she's showing what she would like to change, you know, we have points where we can change and what we can change. It's not major difference in changes, but technically it's possible to do. Orla has an expectation of perfection in her nose and that this is going to change her life. Do you think that's the case? No, no one operation will change your life. Just if you feel better, you can change your life by yourself. Today I'm really, really excited. I'm dying to get in there, absolutely dying to get in there. When I just think back to 15-year-old me and photos of me and being out at parties and putting a glass up to my face, I just think I'd be so much happier, more comfortable in myself, even to get in family photographs. And, you know, just normal memories I should have. Um, yeah, no, I, I can't wait to be honest with you. I'm really, I'm not anxious at all. I'm actually just really dying to get in there. 
Orla is clearly feeling positive after the operation, but having had her breast done previously and now her nose, I want to know if she's finally feeling happy with her body. You've come all the way to Lithuania. You've had the operation. Is that the end or do you see yourself going on no, and having anymore? No, that's the end now, to be honest. The nose I've been thinking about and thinking about seriously since I was 17. So I've thoroughly thought about that. And the boobs were always an issue. So now those things are more for, for confidence issues for myself. You looking forward to going home? Uh, yeah, I am looking forward to going home. Nearly, I'd nearly stay here now because <laughs> I love it here. How, but, um, how long till you get all the bandages and all that stuff off? They are just going to take this off tomorrow. He said that's the last day I should wear to let it kind of dry out and help to, to heal it. But the actual cast will be coming off in, back in Drogheda, in the Drogheda clinic. I can't wait to see what it's like, to be honest. Okay, okay. I'm going to let you go. Um, Perfect. Look, we'll see you on the other side. We'll see you back in Ireland. Yeah. and uh, hopefully you'll notice the difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. And more so in my confidence as well. I can already feel it, so. Okay, it's yeah. Good. You're, you're in much better form than you were yeah. before the surgery. Yeah, so. yeah, no, much okay. better, yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you very Remind much. Remind yourself. Thank you. Okay. After just two days of 24-hour care in the clinic, she's been given the appropriate medication and sent to recuperate at a local hotel. Having a holiday while you're going for surgery, I think it's nice to kind of put it like that to convince yourself it's going to be easy, but uh, it's not practical at all because you, you, don't, you don't feel like you want to go anywhere because you're going through a surgery. If you were having it in Dublin or you were having it in Cork or anything, you would go down, have your surgery, come home and rest. You wouldn't want to be going out shopping. You wouldn't want to be going, you know, for bits to eat in different restaurants. You'd want to be at home. When I actually came here, I said to my friend, feck everybody, I don't care who stares at me, you know, I'm going to look crazy, that's OK, it's part of the process. But when you actually go through it and you actually are standing in a shop where there's kids you know, telling their mums to look at you or there's, so, you know, a partner nudging each other and it's like, oh, Jesus, look at your one over there. I have to do a nasal spray about five times a day and I have to do, uh, like, a, an oil drop three times a day. I don't have any issue with the cleaning. Uh, I, the only thing I, I have an issue with is just the amount of medication that you're on. Uh, I don't like to take painkillers for anything, really. I like to get through most stuff myself, but... Um, you have to do what you have to do. And if you've got so much pain, you're going to take the tablets no matter what, so. It's finally time for Orla's nose cast to come off. This will be the first time she gets to see the nose she's been dreaming of for over eight years. I'm so glad to get rid of this cast. It smells <laughs> from getting it wet after the shower. Hmm? I uh, will clean a little bit of nose. Oh my god, it feels... It yeah. feels strange. <laughs> okay, you can look at mirror. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it looks perfect for now. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, it looks so good. And it's not even... Yeah, so that was everything very good. So oh just just God. now we need time and it will be even better. It's exactly the way. Perfect. <laughs> <A> magician. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. brilliant. Oh my God, I'm scared to even do it. Okay. Okay, oh so. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's better than you. <laughs> nice to hear that. Okay, so I would like to do a few photos, okay? Actually getting it done and seeing I have the nose that I, I've always wanted, that's probably the most emotional. Just hit me, you know? It's there, it's done, finally. <laughs> oh my God, that's absolutely amazing. Like, I can't believe it. 